baby, I'm baby, I'm ballin'. Today I'm doing a look inspired by Rihanna and I know that I've done a lot of Rihanna makeup looks on my channel but you know she's one of the few celebrities I think who really kind of experiments and always is doing something different with her makeup like she's not one of those celebrities that's always like the same signature look she always kind of changes and reinvents her look and I think that's what makes her makeup so fun to recreate because there's always something new in there I saw this look that she wore at the New York Fashion Week which is going on right now bright intense blue like really vibrant lip color I think she totally rocked it all I know is that her eyes and the rest of her face were like very very warm tone I guess to counteract the cool tones on the lips. I thought it was so fashion forward and honestly if you think this blue lip is like super crazy you could go for like a really deep vampy purple um, like burgundy color for fall. You could do, go with like a brown lip. You can go with totally nudes. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let's get started and um, yeah I hope you enjoy. So to do this look, I am going to use this palette. Do you guys remember these palettes? These were like all the rage years back. Um, I got this on eBay. Um, I kind of dug it out again because I was really excited to use these sort of warmer, darker colors. I think this is a great palette for fall. So I'm first going to go in with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply this all over my lid just to work as a primer. So I first went in with this shade right here and it's kind of like this warm peachy orangey brown. First going to start layering like this really sort of warmish peach tone color down because we want this really sort of warm eye look. So I used this one just now and I'm going to go in with this color. This is also matte. It's slightly darker brown. So I'm just going to go into the crease and continue with that. I'm starting to build this warm, rich brown tone. Then I'm going to go with in with the MAC 217 brush and I used this color in the palette. And this is like a burgundy brownish tone. So it definitely has like a reddish undertone. This really rich sort of burgundy brownish shade. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these shadows. I mean, these are really great for beginners who, you know, maybe don't have a lot of shadows yet and who don't want to spend like a ton of money on buying like a million different products. That's what I think these palettes are probably best for. I think for like an experienced makeup artist, like the quality is maybe not up to par. This one right here. Just grab a little bit of that on the tip of the brush. These shadows are really, really dusty. That's one thing that I don't like about them. And just going to build that a bit more right into the crease here. To blend out underneath my brow, I'm using this color right here. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of that smoky eye. Now as a shimmery shade, I'm actually going in with this color. Now this is from BH Cosmetics and this is the um, Wild Child palette. So I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Which I've mostly left bare because that's where I really want the highlight to come in. And under the lid, I'm going to go back in with this brown shadow that I used earlier. And I'm just going to pick that up on a pencil brush. This is the um, Bobbi Brown Eye Smudge Brush. And just kind of smudge that out right underneath and just kind of connect it to the upper part of the eye. Next, I'm going to line my eyes using the Inglot number 77 AMC Gel Liner. This is like a really good black gel liner. And I'm just going to use an artist brush to apply that. So I'm going to put some mascara on my little short stubby lashes. <laughs> and today I'm using this one by Marc Jacobs. I'm going to apply that top and bottom lashes, of course. And I am gonna apply some false lashes because this is not really cutting it, is it? So for the lips, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Paint. So this is one of the new ones for the Fall 2015 collection. It's a bright blue, and I've been dying to use this in like a video um, because I think it's such a unique shade. 
but I actually haven't even worn it myself. So let's see how this um, works out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works. So while that was drying, I actually just um, applied some false lashes and I'm using the Amazing Shine number 47. I know you guys are probably getting sick of seeing them in my videos, but they're like my favorite lashes right now. So I did two coats of the lip product because I felt like the first coat was a little bit patchy on this one. And now I'm going to put some of this pigment on top because I think there was a little bit of shine. This is the Illamasqua, oh, so pretty, Alluvium pure pigment, multi-colored shimmer in it, and just dab that right in the center. I think just as a finishing touch, I'm just going to amp up the cheeks a little bit. I used this bronzer earlier. This is by Ella Masca and it's called Writhe. Since this is supposed to be like a Rihanna look, <laughs> just going to amp that up a bit. I'm going to just amp up the highlighter a bit more. I used the Shimmer Break by Bobbi Brown. It's actually a limited edition one that came out um, for the Christmas collection. It has this gorgeous like golden shimmer. Oh yeah, girl, look at that highlight. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. You'll be the baddest bitch around. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I look forward to reading your comments below. You can also right now hit that red subscribe button. And I'm going to have two videos linked right now on the side that I think you might also enjoy. So click on those, follow me on Snapchat if you haven't already. I've been super active on there. Um, I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll have links for that all below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone.